Our help is in the name of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Good evening. This evening we celebrate the third Sunday in Easter, and so let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will we may gain eternal salvation. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment to confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. Please now make an examination of your conscience. Let's say together the second form of the Confidier found on page 66, if you're following along. I confess to Almighty God in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. For your penance, I would ask you to say one Our Father and one Hail Mary. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all of your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Shout joyfully to God, all you the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Alleluia. My eyes are ever upon the Lord who frees me from the snare. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you show those in error the light of your truth, that they may change their ways and return to the path of righteousness. Grant to all who, those trying to live the Christian ideal the ability to discard all that is contrary to this aim and to hold fast to all that is in keeping with it. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated for our first reading. The first reading is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers has glorified his servant Jesus whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he was, had decided to release him. You denied the holy and righteous one and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that you acted out of ignorance just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all prophets that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted that your sins may be wiped away. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please respond. Lord, let your face shine upon us. Lord, let your face shine upon us. When I call, answer me. O oh, my just God, you who relieve me when I am in distress, have pity on me and hear my prayer. Lord, let your face shine on us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful ones. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Lord, let your face shine on us. O Lord, let the light of your contentance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart. Lord, let your face shine on us. As soon as I lie down, I fall peacefully asleep. For you alone, O Lord, bring your security to my dwelling. Lord, let your face shine on us. The second reading is a reading from the first letter of St. John. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He is the expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The way we be sure that we know him is to keep his commandments. Those who say, I know him, but do not keep his commandments are liars, and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord Jesus, open the scriptures to us. Make our hearts burn while you speak to us. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet that it is I myself. 
touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. This is the gospel of the Lord. Peace be with you. These words are taken from today's gospel according to St. Luke, in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, our gospel today is from St. Luke, even though it sounds familiar to our one we heard last weekend. The apostles were locked away in the upper room out of fear, and Jesus appeared to them. This is Luke's version of it. But today... Our brothers and sisters in Israel, many of them are probably locked in a safe place for fear of their own lives, as we know the drones making their way to Israel as we speak. But in the midst of all of this fear, be it then or even today, Jesus says, peace be with you. Because in him there is peace. There is nothing that can happen in this world at all that can take us away from God, from Jesus. Because we may suffer here. Our time here may be longer or shorter. But as long as we are with him in our souls, in our beliefs, giving everything that we have to him. He will be with us for eternity. Again, we may suffer, we may have pain, we may have sorrow, even sometimes joy here, which is all temporary. It's all temporary. But for the joy, the peace that is forever, we need him. That's why he suffered, died, defeated Satan himself, and rose so that we would have that chance. So, even though times may get scary sometimes, if we live in Christ every single day and make that choice, and we listen to his words, peace be with you, so shall it be. Isn't that what any of us can ask, all any of us can ask for in the end? Peace be with you. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Let us now stand and turn to page 71 and say together the creed that unites us as Christians. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, 
the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again, <coughs> in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. With faith in the risen Lord, we place our needs and petitions before our Heavenly Father. Our response will be Alleluia. That the church, as the body of Christ, may continue to faithfully and courageously proclaim the truth and joy of resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Alleluia. That the light of Christ will bring peace and compassion to our world, especially in the Middle East. We pray to the Lord. Alleluia. For those preparing to receive the sacraments, that they may be nurtured in faith by our parish family. We pray to the Lord. Alleluia. For all who suffer in body, mind, and spirit, especially those on the parish prayer list, that they may experience God's healing touch upon them, we pray to the Lord. Alleluia. For the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. And for whom this Mass is offered, for the Bishop Jerry Rafalco on the ninth anniversary of his passing, we pray to the Lord. Alleluia. For all who have died and those who will die today, that they may sh come to share in the eternal glory of the Father, we pray to the Lord. Alleluia. Most merciful Father, reveal to us your saving power and preserve us always in your grace, for we trust in you. We ask all these things spoken and unspoken through your risen Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Alleluia. Spread off our dirt and give it to hands and maybe become for us the bread of life. away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin, receive this offering, most holy trinity, which we make in memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, through your Holy Eucharist, may we receive your grace to help us overcome that which is earthly and to learn to love that which is heavenly. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks to your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, especially at this time when he became our paschal sacrifice. He is the true Lamb who took away the sins of the world. Through his death, he conquered death for us, and by his wondrous resurrection, he restored eternal life to us. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints in the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, Holy. Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy sacrifice of the Mass continues with the Eucharistic Prayer 2, which is found on page 82, and please remain standing for the Eucharistic Prayer during the Easter season. We have thanks to you, God our Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, whom in these last days you have sent us as Savior Redeemer and messenger of your will. He is your word, inseparable from you. Through him you have made all things, and in him you were well pleased. You sent him from heaven to a virgin's womb. There he dwelt and was made flesh. He was revealed as your son, born through the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin. When he suffered, he fulfilled your will and gained for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands to free from suffering those who believed in you. When he was betrayed to his freely chosen suffering, thereby to destroy death, to break the chains of darkness, to crush hell beneath his feet, give light to the just, make a covenant, and to manifest his resurrection. He took bread, he gave you thanks, and said, Take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. In like manner, he took the cup and said, This is my blood, which is poured out for you. Whenever you do this, do it in memory of me. Together. Calling then his death and resurrection to mind, we offer the bread and the cup. We thank you for allowing us to come before you and to serve. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your Holy Church to gather all in unity. Grant to all who partake of these holy mysteries the fullness of the Holy Spirit for the strengthening of their faith in the truth. So may we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him may glory and honor be yours with the Holy Spirit in your holy church now and forever and ever. Amen. Page 95, let us sing together with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us.
deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Let's say together the first communion prayer found on page 97. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. For those who are joining us online or who for personal reasons cannot receive the body and blood of Christ today, please join me now in the act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the table of the Lord. Body and blood of Christ. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. The body and blood of Christ. The body and blood of Christ. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. The body of Christ. The body and blood of Christ.
receive the healing and strength now and forever. A little while and you will no longer see me again in a little while later and you will see me because I am going to the Father. Alleluia. Let us pray. O oh Lord God, may the sacrament we have received be our food for our souls and strength for our bodies. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let's say together the prayer of St. Michael. Holy Michael, be our angel. Defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And tonight, please join me in a prayer for peace with the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive it is in pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you so much for joining us for our Holy Mass this evening. We pray that you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Remain in the state of grace by evil wherever you find it. Spread joy wherever you go.